Right, Chris, we'll see you then. Tonight, we are getting a first look at the moments following a deadly crash between a bus and a semi just outside of Columbus earlier this month. Body cam video from first responders shows a hectic and a hectic scene and a large fire. Now, WTOL 11 is not showing video of the bus up close and inside because people did lose their lives. But we did want to show you the lengths taken to try and rescue those involved in the crash. Kaylee Kirby shows us the moments troopers arrived on scene. Oh my. Those are the first words you hear from this dash cam video showing troopers arriving on the scene of a devastating bus crash near Columbus. The crash killed six and injured 20 others on November 14th. We got everybody out. No, Hearing that kids could still be on the bus, the trooper jumps into action. Fire department, well, we still have some people in the bus. As he heads to the bus, he's told that someone is still in an SUV, also involved in the crash. Come on, let's get out! Get out! Come on! Move! Come on, move! Once that person is brought to safety, someone tells the trooper there could be a child on the bus. Come on. Buddy, anyone here? Anyone? He gets on the bus and starts using a fire extinguisher. That's when firefighters start to arrive. The trooper gets away from the bus and starts checking on the injured. Broken leg, couple broken ankles. He's CPR right now. Kirby with that follow up a preliminary report from the National Transportation Safety Board could come in the next two weeks. The NTSB says a final report will be released after the full investigation is done and that could take up to 18 months.